Jadeshi got caught again. I think this uh, is study of ATP. Purple yeah. stains on my shirt, huh, tough guy? You think I need some kind of bib from now on because I'm a messy eater that can't be trusted okay. to not spill food on himself? So okay, bad. Delgado. Sometimes accidents happen, and I could have easily changed my shirt before recording this video, and you would have been none the wiser. Have you. no idea. But a real man's not afraid to own up to his mistakes. I'm not hiding away from it. So the oh, stain shirt stays on. If you can handle me at my dirtiest, you don't deserve me at my cleanest. But anyway. What we're here to talk about today is something everyone knew was coming because it's that time of the year. Wait, you said all bending my chair? Talking to minors and trying to be sexual with children. Who could have seen this coming besides every single thing in the world? With Jesus. The only two certainties in this world are death and EDP looking for cupcakes. Yesterday it was revealed that he had once again been talking sexually with a minor. Now I do need to say that this is all currently still How is anyone claims here uh, just you know, there is Surely. substantial evidence to suggest that it could be legitimate. Then I'm inclined to investigate to this. what's being presented here because it seems like it's been done thoroughly and through proper channels instead of just being like a YouTuber done investigation for clout. This really does seem like this could lead to real justice being served to EDP who eluded justice over the last couple of years because this keeps EDP's coming back investigation mm. not being done through proper channels so everything that's going on currently does seem to be legitimate but it is important to say that they are all currently still allegations that he's been talking inappropriately with an underage girl apparently he also sent nudes of himself to this minor and I don't know if he sent any pictures of his poop in a toilet bowl this time around, which is his signature uh -huh. anime finishing move. Last time, a couple years ago, when he was caught sexting someone he believed to be a child, he sent uh, a picture but why the... picture of his shit in the toilet. And this time around, in season 20 of EDP being a disgusting child predator, we don't have any hard evidence to confirm nor deny the existence of shit pics in his exchange with this child. So... I'm sure as the investigation continues, more information will come to light and we'll know for sure. Now, the victim in this situation has come forward publicly and there are a lot of chat logs that have released from it. I don't know if it's every single exchange they've ever had or if there's still more. If it is every single exchange they've had, it doesn't seem like there's any shit pics, but you know, you can never be too sure when it comes to EDP's sexting. He really likes to send pictures of his poopy. So what happened? Yesterday, a very big YouTuber yes, yes, Canadian, released a set of pictures as well as a short clip that had him dressed in a cupcake costume while confronting EDP with somebody else there as well. EDP is very upset about it. I'll go ahead and play you the clip. It's not a fucking joke, man. I'm just telling them at a loss for words. You know, two years ago you were caught kiss my ass in 4K trying to meet a 13 year old. And really I'm not talking to you. He's talking to you. My nigga, this is bullshit, man. It's all fooling right now. When I initially saw this, I thought there was a small chance that this could all just be some kind of prank video that was being staged here. But then I started okay, to think rationally, and I came to the conclusion, what kind of fucking deranged individual would willingly lean into being a pedophile? Now, I know EDP has tried many bold tactics to squeak out of everything that's happened over the last two years. Just One acting, the, by the way. The most outrageous, outlandish claims I've ever heard is that all of it was just method acting for a role that he was playing. Yeah, I did think for a second this could be another example of that, but you'd have to be unhinged to like the highest level, like literally Arkham Asylum insane to do something like this as a joke. Not only on EDP's part, but on Gideon's part, as well as the other YouTuber there, his name is Skeeter Gene. This would be diabolical to fake something like this. Skeeter is a self-proclaimed Chris Hansen impersonator who is a vigilante predator hunter. Now, I'm sure most of you are a little concerned hearing that because in the past, you may know that vigilante predator hunters usually stand in the way of getting justice for the predators that and capture. True. Authorities just can't let them go away. use the information or investigation that the vigilante predator hunters accumulated. It, it just gets thrown out, which leads yeah, to files facing no consequence. They don't get arrested. It's why EDP isn't in jail right now, because the last time he was caught, it was all conducted by YouTubers and authorities wiped their ass with the entire case. But... With Skeeter Gene Hansen, from everything I've seen on his channel, and keep in mind, I'm only just now being made aware of him, so I haven't seen everything he's ever done. But from the bits that I've seen, 
he actually does collaborative collaboratively work with law enforcement and has actually conducted investigations that led to arrests for some of the predators that he was investigating so it seems like he's actually doing this the proper way with the proper authorities through the right channels and getting justice so i'm optimistic that this was all done the right way an important thing to note is that the picture of Gideon and Skeeter confronting EDP directly as well as the clips that are surfacing from it are not part of a sting operation. They didn't lead some kind of, you know, false narrative or anything or try and bait EDP to meet them somewhere under the guise of meeting up with a child or anything like last time. They didn't try and catch him in Operation Cupcake Crusader 2.0. They just knew where he was going and wanted to confront him directly for the way he was conducting himself with another child with the sexual messages they were allegedly exchanging. So Gideon went there dressed as a cupcake, obviously making fun of him. <coughs> Skeeter went there with chat logs and uh, bringing those things directly. And they weren't him. like entrapping him or anything. That piece, that clip and the pictures was just a piece of making fun of him to his face and confronting him. So they apparently are actually so building up what's a, the point there? a real case with law enforcement against him. So everything in person that they did is totally separate from that, I believe. Gideon actually you know, came what up does EDP actually say in my stream last night when I was going over this situation to further explain it. So I'm going to let him lay down exactly what happened. With this case, he actually talked to a 15-year-old girl. Like a real one, not like a decoy? No, like a real legit, like fifteen-year-old girl. Yeah, that's not super shocking. Uh, a lot of people don't remember this, but he had a history of communicating inappropriately with minors way before that sting operation. So if that's true, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. When we did this, like, uh, we actually did this like a month ago. Yeah, I've been sitting on this for like a month. Did he send it? But we were. I was fully expecting to like that? hold on to this for a year and then drop it. The only reason I dropped it today. Was oh, he's just um, speculating. The 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 victim, she went public with everything, and it kind of like public, threw me off. Okay. Like, oh fuck! Like I was like, what the fuck? Mm, yeah. But uh, when I talked to her after she did it, she was like, yeah, the cops said it's all good and stuff. So I was just like, oh, okay. So uh, I dropped oh, it. Too, I'm most likely probably gonna be going to court with her because. Oh what? Uh, Wait what? Yeah. So like I'm kind of like involved with the case now uh like the authorities like they have my number and everything they haven't contacted me yet okay so is this was this like a investigation you conducted with like a, a team did you work collaboratively with the the police like what exactly is all of it i tried to do an interview with him back in early july but uh he phase rugged me and he was like oh you gotta pay me when when we talked he wasn't talking about paying and stuff so I was like, bro, I'm not about to pay a, you know, a fucking pedo. And so he left, but he joined my Discord. Yeah, yes. And he to be the like girl there. was in my Discord. And that's how he found her. And he messaged her because she had all of her social media in her uh, in her Discord stuff. This all sounds... Did you ever, like, contact authorities about it? Like, Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, so the thing about it is, like, I can't do it. Like, yeah. she did it. So, like... So what she did was she contacted my mods and my mods told me, and then I hopped on a call with her. And the first thing I did was I was like, let me talk to your mom. So I talked to her mom, her mom was aware of everything. And so once I got situated, uh, she sent me everything. And then I gave it over to uh, Skeet because you know, he's a professional with this. Mm -hmm. the, the girl he was talking to, was she doing this to try and catch him or was she? So he hit her up. So okay. he hit her first. So that's the thing, like, if she would have hit him up so what does she want? first, I don't know the legality of it. To Either way, the like, prison, he I guess. Her, so he's fucked in that case. I'm not gonna lie, we caught him, we caught, we caught him lacking at the dialysis center. You know, don't ask me how, I knew he was gonna be there, but you know, we, we caught him lacking. So that clip that you showed, that's not him going somewhere to try and meet that girl? No. Okay. No, 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 no. I would just okay, hope that justice would finally be served because he's skirted away from that for a while. And that's the thing that I wanted to do with this. Like, that's why I was so willing to wait like a year because I was afraid that it would have messed up the investigation. Yeah, I think the most important thing is actually getting justice as opposed to like the content of it. So hopefully exactly. this leads to a legitimate case against him because he is not safe to be around children in any 
way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty yeah. much all that's known about what is going on at the moment. It sounds like this wasn't a planned sting operation. This was EDP doing what he does best, talking inappropriately with children, and the victim alerted Gideon, who alerted Skeeter Jean Hansen, who alerted authorities and are now all collaboratively collab Jesus, I am really struggling with that word today. That that shit is really making it difficult for me. I'm fumbling it. Collaboratively with law enforcement like how much to build a case against them and hopefully pursue real justice for someone that is for too long now been allowed to continue preying on children. So after hearing kind of the general the outline and everything, record, so I'm optimistic it's that thing, A, it's all done properly, B, it's all real, that this isn't some big ruse, some kind of giant joke. Again, I think that would be extraordinarily evil and ridiculous if this does all turn out to be fake, which I don't think it is. And three, the most important, that this entire investigation leads to real justice. So EDP can no longer keep preying on the children in his audience. It's just, for too long, he has been able to continue coming back like this reoccurring villain. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man type shit? I compared him to the box ghost. Just this fucking cartoonish villain that keeps coming back, keeps getting defeated, but no real consequences. So just comes back again later on making another cameo. It's been happening for two years. So hopefully this will finally be the case where he no longer gets to do these yeah, kind of from him again. So yeah, just wanted to talk about okay. this and yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna just keep my finger on the pulse of this story to see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, on. That's about it. See ya.